Talk is cheap, but when you get cocky, you get humbled. Francis Ngannou comes into this fight as the ultimate challenger, but he gets too overconfident. Of course, he's really intimidated. He know what gonna happen. I I know he just make it, he just make it proud there, like, yes, I'm, I'm the charm, I'm this, I'm that, but he know the guy that he gonna fight. He know that he's gonna be the fight that he never had in his career. How will Steep Miocic, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, handle this disrespect? Can Janu walk it like he talk it? Let's find out. Francis Ngannou is coming into this fight on the back of a hot streak of 10 consecutive wins in a few years before. This titan claimed the bragging rights as having the most devastating punch power in all of UFC. Catches him on the temple, had him hurt, and a barrage. Look at this left uppercut. And that, that's the end of the fight right there. He, he landed one more shot afterwards. In 2017, he set the world record for the hardest punch ever recorded at 129, 161 units. If you doubt that, just ask Overeem. I mean, just perfect on the chin. That's how scary Francis Ngannou is. I mean, that's, that's like a scene. A left hook that will harvest your soul. No wonder they call him the Predator. According to the UFC, his punch is the equivalent of 96 horsepower. That's the same as getting hit by a Ford Escort going as fast as it can. And if you swing a 12-pound sledgehammer at full force from overhead, you still won't match Anganu's damage points. Francis Ngannou has the world record for the most powerful punch. His punch is the equivalent to 96 horsepower, which is equal to getting hit by a Ford Escort going as fast as it can. And it's more powerful than a 12-pound sled sledgehammer swung full force from overhead. Ngannou destroys Overeem as his 10th straight victim before entering the biggest fight of the UFC Heavyweight Championship in 2018. The cheers were loud and his victories were sending a message to future opponents. Francis Ngannou will destroy you. The media surrounded the fighter, creating a larger-than-life image that made him feel invincible. Ngannou oh, said, Where's the belt? It's in Cleveland, Ohio. He said, Where is the belt? It's in Cleveland, Ohio. But it would be a mistake to get arrogant with Stipe Miocic, Still, Ganu didn't get the memo. Miocic claimed the UFC Heavyweight Championship in a crazy two minutes and 47 seconds of the first round in what was the performance of the night, where he KO'd Fabrizio Verdum with ruthless punch power at UFC 198. You get those kicks, when you throw a kick and you hit somebody's shit, it hurts your foot, it hurts your leg. Fabrizio aggressively attacks. Oh, that's it! Hit it it's all Since then, Myochik has defended his belt successfully twice. And Alistair's just winging these weird, crazy punches. Sleeping. Pound. To the body. Alistair's in all sorts of trouble here, Mike. Sleeping. Myochik remains the heavyweight champion. Tonight, he will do all he can to make it a third straight title defense. He'll probably give the big bad Janu a lesson in humility. Miocic hopes to remind Ganu that having an inflated ego is always a bad idea, and probably give him a reality check that will bring One Punch Man back to Earth. But while Miocic prepares to get Ngannou served, he'll do well to avoid Ngannou's super punches. After all, Francis Ngannou has an 85% win rate in MMA for a reason. So Miocic versus Ngannou is the top billing of UFC 220, with the heavyweight championship title at stake. What did Miocic do to Ngannou? The challenger turns up looking good, in great shape, and ready to take on Stipe Miocic in the headline act of the night. With a total gate revenue of $2.45 million at a buy rate of 350000 You know, this is the fight that makes the head turn. The son of Croatian immigrants Kathy and Bojan Miocic. Stipe Miocic was born and reared in Euclid, Ohio, on August 19, 1982. His mother is from Setengrad. Croatia. His father is from Rotina. His mother supported him in sports when he was young. While attending East Lake North High School, Miocic wrestled, played American football, and played baseball. In 2005, when he was still in school, he was called in to train alongside Dan Bobish at the Strong Style 
MMA Training Center in Independence, Ohio. My OSIC trained in baseball and wrestling at the time, and he returned to train with them after completing his paramedic studies at Cuyahoga Community College. After training in mixed martial arts for a while, he switched to boxing. Even though he had only been training for a few months, his coach Marcus Marinelli remembered that he was defeating boxers with far more expertise. He swiftly amassed a 5-0 amateur record in mixed martial arts, all five of his victories coming via first-round stoppage. With experience as an NCAA Division I wrestler at Cleveland State and as a boxing champion for the Cleveland Golden Gloves, Myosik started his MMA career by winning his first six professional fights via knockout after just eight months of training. He first competed for the Ohio-based mixed martial arts promotion NAAFS, where he won the heavyweight championship. But Myosik openly felt disrespected because he never received the amount of promotion and support Nganu did from UFC. Francis Nganu has benefited from visibility and chances to demonstrate his abilities on a bigger platform because of the UFC's aggressive promotion of his fights. To raise his status as a high-profile fighter, they have spent money promoting his fights, making promotional videos, giving him prominent placement in events. To further tip the scales, UFC matchmakers intentionally schedule fights that advance in Ganu's career and support the organization's goal of showcasing excellent fights and athletes with promise. You must understand that the UFC's backing goes beyond the octagon with a range of marketing initiatives and calculated moves to further Nganu's professional trajectory in the highly competitive mixed martial arts scene. But Stipe Miocic will not let him get away with disrespect. What is Miocic about to do? Nganu begins on the front foot and chases Miocic into the wall, but the defending champion turns the situation into an advantage, taking Nganu down, but the Predator will not go down so easily. Nganu stands right up, and both fighters wrestle for glory, with Miocic hellbent on defending his title for a record third time straight. A few more of those treacherous punches, but Miocic evades like the champ he is. Nganu drives him to another corner, dodging more devastating blows. Nganu batches Miocic's takedown. The Predator has been keen on getting no surprises, but Miocic has been here before. After all, it's the third time he's defending his championship title. Miocic throws punches at Nganu that he swiftly evades. Take down. Miocic succeeds this time and he tries to get that headshot, but Nganu won't go down easily. Miocic gets his chance to throw in as many punches and attempts another takedown. Oh, what a smack! The referee calls it and the round ends. But they still have a score to settle. Miocic tries low kicks, but Nganu is built like a powertrain so he doesn't budge. He swings a crazy fist past Miocic's ear, but the defending champion seizes the moment to die for another smackdown. In the face! Miocic scores a few points on Nonganu's forehead. He tries again for another takedown. Looks untidy, but gets the job done. A careful hold on Nonganu there, and Miocic appears to have won this round. But the Predator is not done with Miocic. With another dive at the waist from Miocic, he takes Nganu down and tries a rear choke. Nganu flings more fists at him, but he survives, pins Nganu down, and throws in enough punches for the ref to intervene. At the bell, Nganu takes another go at the heavyweight title and tries to pin the Predator into submission, but he would not be cowed. Dishes out blows to the back of the head like it's breakfast, but Nganu does not give up. Stipe Miocic destroys the swollen-headed Cameroonian, but he refuses to be knocked out. Myotic grapples as he can almost taste the victory. The bell goes, yes. Myosik successfully defends his heavyweight championship title. Turns out the champ can take a racing Ford Escort to the face after all. Guess who owns the records for both the longest title defense run in the heavyweight division? Stipe Myosik with three straight defenses. The most victories in heavyweight title fights, having successfully defended his title four times throughout his two title reigns. With nine fight night bonus wins, Miocic owns the record for the most in the history of the UFC heavyweight class. He's also considered the best UFC heavyweight of all time, but it would not be the last time both fighters will meet in the ring. What did you think of the fight between Stipe Miocic and Francis Ngannou? Do you want to see more of the champions of MMA? 
the giant of the UFC taken down by Sean Sugar O'Malley. Check out the skinny guy Sean O'Malley taking down the giants in the ring. Stay tuned.